Given a directrix of x equals negative 5 and a focus of 1, 4, find the transformational equation of the parabola. So I'm, I'm a visual learner. I'm going to just graph this. So I'm going to go to x equals negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and draw the directrix. Then I'm going to go to a focus of 1, 4, 1, and up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now remember that in between the directrix and the focus, directly in between, you will always find the vertex. So this is a distance from here to here is a distance of 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And half of 6 is 3. So I either go 3 to the left of the focus or 3 to the right of the vertex. But right along this line here, I'm going to move 3 over. 1, 2, 3. So this vertex now is occurring at negative 2, 4. Remember your vertex will always eat the focus. Second thing to remember, whenever you have a parabola that opens up or opens down, you're talking about equations that say x squared. Whenever you have problems that open up to the left or right, you're talking about equations that are y squared. So this is a y squared problem. Another reminder, if it opens to the right or if it opens up, p is positive. If it opens down or to the left, p is negative. So I have a positive p, and I'm working with a y squared problem. So y, I'll leave a blank here, squared equals 4px, and I'll leave a blank. Inside each of those blank positions will be the vertex. And we're going to put the correct numbers in. So y's will go with y's, x's will go with x. And remember, it's always the opposite of what we see. So in this position will be the y. Instead of putting a plus 4, it will be a minus 4. And in this position, instead of putting with the x, instead of putting a minus 2, it will be a plus 2. Now the last thing we need to know, we know p is positive. We need to know what, it, what is p, what is that? So p is the distance from the vertex to the focus, which is 3, or the distance from the directrix to the vertex, which is 3. And it's a positive 3 since this is opening up to the right. 4 times 3 is 12. This portion is 12. Final answer is y minus 4 quantity squared equals 12 times the quantity x plus 2. Moving on to number 13. Identify the transformational equation in the parabola. So just like we said up above, if it opens up or opens down, it's x squared. If it opens left or opens right, it's a y squared. So I know this is a y squared problem. I also know because it opens to the left, I know that p has to be negative. So keep that in mind. The vertex is already identified as negative 2, 1. So inside these positions, negative 2 goes with the x, 1 goes with the y. Remember to switch the signs, so negative 1 and positive 2. Now when we identify the p, p is the distance from the vertex to the focus or the vertex to the directrix. And that appears to be a distance. Here's your focus, here's your vertex. This is a distance of 1. So remember, when you plug this in, 4 times 1 is 4, but p was negative. Since it opens up to the left, that makes this a negative 4. Moving on to number 14. 